Unsurprisingly, COVID remains the big issue for 2021 for businesses here in Thailand. Hi, I'm Chris Cracknell, Chairman of Grant Thornton here in Thailand. In our recent study of over 101 different businesses, mid-sized businesses here in Thailand, we asked a number of questions around COVID-19, its impact and how businesses were responding. No surprises here in many ways that COVID is seen as the biggest challenge. And with the latest bout of COVID this January hitting businesses, lockdown and other restrictions coming into play, it's going to be high on every business's agenda. Essentially, some 46% of respondents believe that Thailand should start opening up to international tourism on a controlled basis. But a staggering 67% of the responses indicated that people were prepared to suffer the economic damage and potential risks from that economic damage to control and manage COVID within the country. It's a stark choice between COVID-19 and economic damage. And the favour is control COVID-19 and we'll repair the economic damage later on. Can businesses survive that pressure in the current market? On a, on a slightly lesser point, over 51% of respondents felt that a weaker BART would also very much help and support exports during this time. So let's now have a look at some of the other factors that have come out in that survey. What are Thai businesses planning to do in terms of market recovery? Well, as the market starts to recovery, the good news is people are considering, what are my new markets? What, who are my new clients? Where should I be heading? 48% are looking to invest more in technology and bring technology to the forefront of how they work with clients. This, we think, is a very good move. Technology use has accelerated dramatically over the last 12 months and will feature very strongly in the future market. The second big change we've all seen is in how people are shopping. How is retail going to work in the future? And definitely, online shopping has taken a massive step forward here in Thailand. Yes, we love our malls, we love going around and looking in the shops, but online shopping has made a massive impact and is here to stay. Technology facilitates that. Again, workplace safety has gone up to 42%, and we need to just dig a little deeper behind that one. Perhaps this is about providing a safe place to work from COVID, and it's preoccupying employers, it's preoccupying people who run business buildings and people who manage and build buildings, hospitals, train stations, airports, commercial offices. How can we keep them clean? How can we keep them COVID free? How can we protect our employees? It's a changing world out there, but the great news is Thai businesses are planning for the recovery. They appear to be looking in the right areas and they appear to be adopting policies that are going to hold them well into the future. Good cause to be optimistic, a rough road in the short term, yes there are more COVID issues to deal with, but at the end of the day what we're seeing is Thai businesses, good businesses preparing themselves for the long term. Good luck. <laughs>